What's up, film sluts? I gotta find a better name than that. Um, so it's Mike coming with you for my first unboxing, quote unquote, because it's already open. I am. I can't wait. I, I'm. I'm. It's like a, a kid in a candy store, you know. As soon as I get the boxes, they come open. So I'm gonna have to either learn some restraint. Or just film like right at like as soon as I get home and, and just do it. But uh, <clears throat> today's for my first unbo unboxing, and actually I'm really glad that this is it. Is Cinema of Conflict by Arrow Academy of the director. Um, I don't know if there's an English pronunciation. I, I used to always call him uh, Christoph Kislowski, but apparently that's not right. Um, you don't really pronounce the R. According to a YouTube video I watched very er right before this one, it's like uh, Kazistov or something like that. Krish, yeah, like that, like Krzysztof Kislowski. Um, but anybody who's a, who's a cinephile knows this man, particularly for either the Three Colors trilogy at, or the Decalogue. Um, both of those are seem to be his most famous works. He is highly regarded as a, as a master, um, so that's why he, he definitely belongs. If you're interested in, in, in film history, you know, um, <clears throat> he definitely belongs in your collection for sure. And with Arrow pumping out these limited editions, you just got to snap them up. Um, so, yeah, I, um, I just read and I hope I'm wrong. Or I hope they're the person that I read wrong, but I was reading that apparently this seems to be selling out fairly quickly and it's only limited to 2,000 copies. So if you want this for the booklet, really, that's that's why you're going to get it is for the booklet. And I believe maybe the, the sleeves are, are going to be reversible only for the limited edition. Some companies do that. Uh, I think Arrow's done that every once in a while. <clears throat> but... Um, yeah, if, if the booklet is not all that important to you, then you can probably just wait until, you know, uh, the standard release comes out and just snap it up on a sale for like 15 pounds or something like that. But uh, Chris uh, Kislowski, uh, of him, I have only seen uh, the Decalogue. And unfortunately, although not too really unfortunate, fortunate, but... Um, I've only seen it from the Criterion version, so not the correct uh, presentation that was, you know, I think I even mentioned it in a past video, uh, Arrow's edition of, of, of the Decalogue is, is uh, apparently just a little bit more truer to how it was originally presented in Polish television. <clears throat> but really, as long as you get to see them, they're, it's not going to make too much of a difference. So before I, I, I turn over to the uh, to the unboxing, um, the only thing I'll, I'll say a little bit of this is that, as far as I know, and I will correct myself if I'm if I'm very wrong, but as far as I know, the only thing here that was previously available in any sort of Blu-ray edition of anything was Blind Chance, which Criterion, you know, has a uh, you know their own. Uh, version of Blind Chance, and I think something else here may have been on previous editions, like uh, you know Arrow's uh, original limited edition decalogue. On to the unboxing. So this, you know, it comes in the nice, and I'm doing this all awkward from the side because uh, I need to get one of those overhead things. But uh, you know, this is if you guys want to pause that and 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 read it um it comes in in just a typical arrow case you know it's very like sturdy kind of thick cardboard it's very nice <clears throat> so the booklet and you know you always want these things to be bigger than they than they actually are uh it's just about like about 60 pages and oh 50 pages my bad so uh you know here are the contents essentially um, every every movie has its own has its own you know cast and crew and then like two two kajiggers two essays each 
So actually kind of reminds me of the, the indicator box sets that I have for like Sinbad and for, for uh, the other, uh, what, what is it called? Yeah, it actually reminds me of of Her Ray Harry Howes and the other the other box set with uh, Sinbad is that they both you know come with a booklet that has the same amount of essays per each per each movie. So <clears throat> the four listed here are, and I think I'm out of focus real quick. Sorry about that. All right, so the four movies are. The Scar, Camera Buff, Blind Chance, and No End, with uh, some, like, a couple of short films in between. You know, I never like it when they have this, the, the sticker up here, but that's, it's, it's whatevs. So the, each comes with the, the Arrow Academy, you know, the artist, whoever they hired to do it. But the in- and here's a card. But the in, inside of, of each, the reversible side of each, comes with a, what looks to me like either an original poster or some artwork that, that, uh, that was originally used for the movie. <clears throat> Oops. <clears throat> and this one is no end with pretty much the same drawing, the same art on the disc. This one I'm, I definitely am itching to, to maybe flip out because that's freaking awesome. That is hardcore. Blind Chance. And the interesting thing about this one is how much the tracks uh, you know, appear and, and have uh, some sort of, of resonance because and I'm going to move it to the side and just compare this to the Criterion's uh, cover of Blind Chance. They both have the, the tracks on it. So I'm definitely interested in finding out what that means. You know, here's the, what looks like may have been the original. And last one is camera buff. I don't know why I did that. I didn't show the, the back to the other one. Amateur. So yeah, otherwise, very nice set. You know, <clears throat> kind of surprised they went with the, with the thin cases compared to some of their other sets have like the, you know, the full Amaray cases, but, uh, you know, I'm not complaining. It's not like they're holding any booklets in them so they can be thin. All right, so I am very happy with this release. I, it, it's, it's always amazing whenever you get to see, you know, a, a renowned filmmaker's early works. It's, you don't really get to see it a lot. It's typically their most famous later stuff that always comes out. And they're early things that are, are harder to get, um, even with contemporary uh, directors like uh, Bong Joon-ho. Uh, up until, you know, the present day, Memories of Murder uh, has been difficult to get uh, in, in Blu-ray. It was a, not a limited edition as far as I know, but it was just a... a, a Blu-ray copy that went out of print from Korea and uh, has been going for, for pretty high prices. So I'm very happy that Criterion is, is going to release that because Memories of Murder is a fantastic movie. And I think also his, his first movie as well had been uh, difficult to get. And so whenever you have something like this that presents not only a filmmaker's early stuff, but also gives context and and documentation and supplements that help you appreciate that much more and see where they're coming from it's it's always amazing it's always a gift and you know i'll probably say it time and time again the film fans of the present day are so blessed 
to be able to have things like this. It, it's just fantastic. It, it's, we're so lucky. Um, wouldn't want to live in it any other time. So I will leave it at that. Let me know if you guys are going to grab this or, you know, if there's something here that you think that I should get to first, which I probably won't un uh, be able to until uh, a week from now. So because I, I got to watch, uh, I got to watch uh, a couple movies first. So uh, when I get to it, you know, let, let me know in the comments below. Uh, maybe I should just start from, from number one to, to, to four. Uh, but definitely, I am super, super pumped to have this. So that's all, folks. I hope you're all having as good a time as you can be right now. And I hope you guys are, are watching some fantastic movies and uh, whittling down those, those watch lists because it's... Uh, if there's any time to, to watch as many movies as possible, it's right now. So, yeah, like the video if, if, uh, if you want to do that. Uh, subscribe if, if, you're, if you're down a clown. And I will see you guys later.